Reaction coming Monday to a landslide local election victory in Hong Kong by opponents of Chinese rule amid months of sometimes violent pro-democracy protests. It is a genuine referendum of the people of Hong Kong. Pro-democracy lawmakers say the results send a clear message to Hong Kong's Beijing-backed leader Carrie Lam and her handling of some six months of demonstrations against what protesters believe is China's growing influence. Lam says her government will respect the results and will seriously reflect after pro-democracy candidates took command of 17 of 18 district councils in a vote that saw an unprecedented turnout of more than 71 percent. The local councillors deal with issues like transit and garbage collection, but they're also part of a committee that selects Hong Kong's leader. Beijing's foreign minister, speaking in Japan, says no matter what happens, Hong Kong is a part of China, and any attempt to mess up Hong Kong or even damage its prosperity and stability will not succeed. In Hong Kong, one of the first post-election steps taken by the pro-democracy movement was a march to the city's Polytechnic University to demand humanitarian assistance to protesters still inside. University authorities estimate there are at least 50 protesters still holed up inside the campus. Police, who arrested around 1,000 people during last week's siege, are maintaining barricades around the school. We wish for a peaceful solution. Hong Kong police plan to send a team of negotiators into the campus to try to coax the remaining protesters to surrender. And police adding they do not intend to arrest the remaining protesters still inside the school.